Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self Critical Automaton, Game Understander of the Year 2021 nominee, and it is time for episode 21 of my Let's Play of Paradise Killer. And I'm starting to uh, build up a certain resentment towards these goddamn crows, who I wish would shut up and let me talk. So today we're going to attempt to talk to Henry Division, see if that's even possible, then head back to the mainland and start rummaging in bins again, while I ramble in no short or abbreviated fashion about various thoughts I'm having about this game. This is where Henry started from, according to Aikiko. She claims he broke free at 2352 and was found at 003. Starlight can crunch the numbers. The distance and times don't match up. He couldn't have broken free, made it to the penthouse, breached all four holy seals, killed the council, and gotten back to the penthouse entrance in time to be found in the time Akiko claims. Well, I mean, demons are involved. Doesn't that mean anything is possible? But the, <laughs> the evidence is definitely mounting up against... Uh, Poor little Meow Meow Aikiko. Interesting. Let's see if Henry himself can uh, have anything, anything interesting to say. Although, before we talk to Henry, I just want to uh, point out that I actually... I really like the designs of all of the characters in this, but this is one of the few times when the posing and positioning of the character is also really interesting to me. Um, the way he's positioned... <laughs> obviously, he's tied up, but... It's almost referencing a couple different things at once. One is pin-up posing. He's he's very much positioned not like someone who is an actual prisoner being tied up. He is positioned very much as a uh, lithe, sexy man is positioned while chained up on uh, calendars that you buy at the back of the shop. But at the same time, this pose is almost referential to certain depictions of Christ on the cross, uh, or in, <laughs> indeed the blending of those two concepts. The uh, inexpressibly sexy tradition of the inexpressibly sexy Saint Sebastian, um, who is a saint depicted always in his martyrdom, just in like cartoonishly sexy ways. It's it's this is an art history meme that's been going on for about five hundred years, basically. Um, you can you can find scholarly sources discussing why Saint Sebastian being shot full of arrows is always depicted in such a kind of a sensual sexual way and it's um it's interesting and I feel like that this uh, this character's pose is probably intentionally evoking that kind of a vibe which I wonder if itself is supposed to imply something about the degree to which his uh capture or perhaps his uh, position in this sequence of events is a is a polite fiction he is posed he is supposed to look like this not because it's natural but because that's how he wishes or that's how other people wish him to be seen anyway uh that's probably highly speculative let's actually talk to him henry possessed citizen accused of mass murder who the fuck are you henry division the prime suspect a citizen born to Rena Division 27 years ago. Father unknown. Arrested multiple times by the marshals for assault, robbery, arson, and torture. Imprisoned in the desolation cell after killing his mother during his possession 10 years ago. Intellectual and creative, but finds it difficult to apply himself. He struggled through his schoolwork until he became aware of demonology and suddenly developed an interest in occult mathematics. I said, who the fuck are you? Uh, let's be polite. An investigator. I want to ask you some questions about last night. Okay, let's have a chat, a talk, a nice sit down. Let's start with your history. You're a citizen born on this island 27 years ago. No one knows who your father is. That's weird, isn't it, investigator? You syndicate fucks control this whole island, but you don't know who fucked my mum. No DNA check? Nothing. You've been in and out of the Marshall Detention Centre more times than anyone else. Fighting, robbery, arson, torture, and then finally you got locked up when you were possessed by a demon and killed your mother. You broke the law and started communicating with the gods. An act forbidden because the psychic pathways opened allowed demons, other alien races, to enter our reality and corrupt the island. I grew up without a dad on a synthetic island in a different reality, forced to worship gods that want to rule the world. I needed something to do. And some fuck started giving me books on demonology, said I was a gifted astral communicator or some shit. You don't know who it was? Are you fucking deaf? Sounds like I need to look into this. 
Sounds like I need to look into that. I'm gonna need a drink after this. I'm gonna- Stop it. You couldn't handle communicating with cosmic beings and a demon possessed you. Cosmic radiation poured out of you and now we have the dead zone. A demon possessed by you and you killed your mother and Grey's bloodlines are chief exorcist. Whatever you fucking say. I feel like if I try and be sympathetic with him, he will quite rightly uh, identify me as being full of shit. I understand this is hard. You're the victim of possession. The fuck do you understand? I don't even know you. What do you know about demons? I used to be the head of the Paradise Psycho Unit. My investigations touched on gods and demons. Used to be. I let a god into my head. He almost wiped the islands out. I was exiled. Poetic. Two lawbreakers. What could go wrong? Are we going to get fucking down to some actual questioning or what? Before that, tell me about the demon inside you. I've had ten years of this fucking thing right thing around inside me. Glass shards in my bones, blood boiling, flesh on fire. It's been a real fucking party. How does the demon make you act? My body used to be real pretty. Now look at me. I'm a grey husk covered in this demonic shit. These sigils constantly cook my flesh. Ten years of the stench of my own flesh being seared. I'd say it's had a pretty negative impact on my outlook and behaviour. I find this kind of confusing because, to me, this is clearly the prettiest boy on an entire island full of pretty boys. He's the only one wearing eyeshadow, for God's sake. You got any fucking questions or what? Henry's demonic possession. Aha, uh -huh, a whole new case file. Interesting. So this is actually being considered a whole nother separate case to investigate. And we've already done a fair bit of investigating because this seems like it's almost certainly and obviously going to be connected to the secret demon lab that we found previously. Which we know is connected to Carmelina and Witness. So once again, this spiderweb does seem to be involving basically everybody on the island. Um... I'll come back to this in a minute, but that does lend credence to my, you know, wild out there theory, uh, which I'm currently calling the domino theory of what exactly happened here, which uh, I'll get to after this conversation. <laughs> well, hmm. Seems like he doesn't have any choice but to do anything but hang out. All right, let's see. What has he got to say? What's your motive for killing the council? Is that a joke, investigator? You syndicate fucks drag us citizens of the real world to your shithole island and treat us like cattle. We worship your gods while you leech our psychic energy. I hate you. I hate the syndicate. I hate your council. That's my motive. I don't know about anyone else, especially all you syndicate fucks. It's just occurred to me that he's putting his arms down periodically, which means that he's posing like that on purpose, which means that he knows how kind of like... Well, you know, I've already described the connotations of his positioning. What about the demon inside you? I can feel it on the edge of my consciousness all the time, shadows on the periphery of my vision. Did it make you kill? This demon is pure rage. White hot, scalding rage has burned my mind for a decade. The demon wants to see this island scorched into nothing. I'd do anything to placate him. Hmm. Well, I mean, he has a demon inside him which is perfectly capable of puppeting his body, supposedly, so who's to say whether any of this is him or the demon or anything else but also i'm still firm in my theory that he was he was kind of inculcated to be this way for the purpose of using him as a weapon later on <laughs> does he have an alibi i feel like that's a pretty reasonable question to ask when he's uh been immediately captured even though it's impossible for it to have been him based on the evidence did you kill the council with martial guards I don't remember. I've been told I killed them. Maybe I did. My memory is fleeting, like in mirages in the desert that disappear when I get close. Do you remember anything about the night? New night. New night? The warrior goddess? My mind is like a desert covered in fog. I can see things coming out of the fog and sometimes I can walk towards them and latch on. My memory about last night is different. There's nothing there. No fog, no desert, just an expanse. Except I can see New Knight. Did someone say New Knight to you last night? No. I don't know, maybe? I think I saw the goddess. You saw a goddess? Was this before or after you were found by the marshals? I don't fucking know, investigator. Why don't you go find out instead of making me do your job? This island has lots of statues of the gods. I need to find the statue of New Knight. She's the goddess of warriors. The barracks might be a good place to start. 
I wonder if... Henry's been in and out of the the barracks, so, um, that someone said earlier. So if that's the case, I wonder if that means that he, if, he, if he knows any secret ways in or out, did he ever escape from that place? And if so, can I use it to get in? Did you see Yuri last night? Who the fuck is that? Reasonable. I'm going to ask about all of the alibis first because he probably doesn't know who any of these people are. Did you see the Grand Marshal last night? Of course I saw her. She was supposed to execute me, right? I don't remember a fucking thing, but that's what's supposed to happen. Did you see the architect last night? Who? Did you see Crimson Acid last night? Who the fuck is that? Did you see the doctor last night? How should I know? Did you see Lydia and Sam last night? Who the fuck are they? I really like this because one of the things that's been bothering me about this society, quite, I, I suspect quite intentionally on the part of the writers, is that there's this extremely small, extremely cliquey in-group at the centre of things called the Syndicate, who, as far as they are concerned, are really the only real people in the world. And this is very reflective of how the wealthy and powerful in society view themselves in real life. They're the only real people. The citizens are just, you know, pawns, the rabble, the plebes to be directed and controlled and used, but they're not people. And the idea that any random citizen might not know who the government minister in charge of directing the design of the next island might be is alien to them, because those are the only people in the universe as far as they're concerned. How could someone else not know who they are? It doesn't even enter into... Um, Lady Love Dies' is mind that like this poor fuck out of a, the teeming masses of poor fucks might not know or care. Right. Next up, seal marshals. Did you kill the marshal guards outside the council building? Yes. No. If you say so. No memory. Are you beginning to get the hint? Henry, did you go through the second holy seal? The what? Did you go to a plateau on a barely known planet in space to get to the council last night? Can you even hear yourself? What the fuck does any of that mean? No memory. You're beginning to get it. Tell me how you escaped. <laughs> you fucking tell me, investigator. I can't remember. Can you remember anything from before you escaped? Agitation, screams inside me. They woke up for the first time in years. Screams? There was a burst of them. My whole body felt like it was on fire. I wanted to burst out of this world. Any idea what caused this? It's your fucking job to find out. Well, that seems extremely related to the um, audio projection device projecting psychic death screams at this very island, doesn't it? So I was right that that device is being, was being used to interact with the demon in some way. They project psychic death screams and it agitates the demon so much it breaks out, or maybe feeds the demon to give it the power to break out. That would tally with him being on supposedly the correct dosage. So yeah, my theory still is that, you know, he did break out and kill a bunch of people. Probably? Although Aikiko definitely killed the guards. Wait. No, hang on. Aikiko's sword. Yeah, she said he took his com her, her combat knife, not, not her sword. So yeah, that... Sort of tallies, I guess? Hmm. What tangles webs these mortals weave? I said incredibly pretentiously. What do you know about Kay Hax's disappearance? Who the fuck is that? Alright, fine. Tell me about how you ended up like this. What's to tell? A bored kid finds his call and gets punished for it. That calling being illegal communication with the gods and causing a demonic invasion. We all need a hobby. And now I'm here. You've got a locked safe in your apartment. Can I get into it? Get fucked, investigator. There must be a way. There has to be a way. Maybe I can come back to him later with other evidence or something. But I really want to know what's in that safe. Let's talk, Henry. I need to know more about you. Tell me about your childhood. Oh, you know, the usual. Enslaved, forced to worship nightmare gods, that kind of thing. How do you people sleep at night? You abduct us from the real world and use us as cattle. 
I mean, she's been expressing a degree of affection for the underclasses so far, but from a very naive and closeted worldview of a member of the privileged class. So I kind of feel like she would attempt to um, sympathize with him and get snapped at for it. This whole thing is messed up. What? 24 islands and we're no closer to our goal. All we've done is churn through citizens and lose each other to murder and invasions. So why are you here? The cycle will continue one way or another. I'm just trying to make it the best I can. Whatever. Yeah, I guess I have to find some kind of additional point of evidence before I can come back and try and get access to... Oh, hang on. I, before I go, I want to challenge Aikiko about... Uh, about something he said. Oh, I, oh, I can ask her about the bottle. That, was, that wasn't an option previously. What do you know about Henry's demonic possession ten years ago? What do you want, Nanarisuto? I told you about his possession. Why wasn't he executed when he was arrested? He posed a threat to the island. Are you stupid? The demon wouldn't die with him. The demon would escape into the island. So why execute him at the end of the island? Why not let him blink out of existence with the old island? That's the way it is, Nanarisuto. Criminals get theirs. He's a victim. He didn't want the demon to possess him. What do you know? You sure he didn't invite it in? You got deceived by a god. Don't forget that. In a visi. Hmm. There is... Okay, so... What I wanted to ask about was the time difference. But that doesn't seem to be an option here, which is strange. Because we established that it was impossible for him to have travelled to do the things that he's supposed to have done. Uh, there's also some stuff I want to talk about, about the way this story interacts with the sort of superposition of, um, you know, criminal and victim, and how it reflects the wider themes, but I'll come back to that later. There's nothing in your report about Henry seeing a new knight during his escape. The babbling of a labigu possessed by a demon. There's only one statue of new knight on the island, correct? Why does it matter? Where is it? Why do you care? Just answer the question. The statue is in the barracks. The goddess only gives her attention to soldiers. So how could Henry have seen it last night? He couldn't have. The barracks are secure. He's spouting gibberish to confuse you, Nenorisito. I'm just going to ask, Akiko, did you take him through the barracks last night? Are you out of your mind? You think I helped him escape? Nonsense. Goodbye, Nenorisito. So, yeah, if, if, he, if it's impossible for him to have travelled over the island... Then if he went via the barracks tunnel, which is at the other end of the bridge, maybe maybe that would allow him the time he needed to get there. So it's looking more and more like he went through the barracks itself. Maybe she really doesn't know what's going on and someone else did this, but she's the only person with the access to allow this stuff to happen, so... If Henry went through the HQ to get to the council building, why didn't he show up on the HQ logs? The nightmare computer at the entrance to the HQ did not log Henry entering it. What is this rahat? The logs contradict your report. What do you want me to say? I don't know how those things work. Maybe there was a malfunction. Maybe you found a way to slip past. Does that seem likely? Stop asking me to do your job. When you found Henry, did you see a bloody bottle lying around? The pre... That's pressed for bestie. What bottle? There wasn't any bottle. Why are you wasting time? You saw nothing to suggest the blood in Henry's stomach had been administered artificially. Of course not. Stop dragging this out with stupid theories. Well, that didn't really enlighten me about anything. What happens if I try and hang out with her again? Got a minute? You're going to die. Humor me. Kenabavare. Why did you become a soldier? What is this? What are you doing? I'm trying to get to know you. Listen, Enerisito, I'm waiting to execute this Labigu and not have a therapy session. Ah, oh, interesting. I wonder if I can reduce the relationship if I make the wrong decisions. You know, how many mechanics are there in this game? Uh, or are there, in fact simply just like two mechanics and no more she does she does seem incredibly egotistical Aikiko you're the greatest soldier the syndicate has ever known what is this respect you repelled the 19th sequence invasion I just want to know about your military background surely that's not too much to ask my parents died in the wars when I was nine I was orphaned into the army of new knight I became a child soldier master in guerrilla warfare. At 13, I led an insurgency through my home country to push your love-damned harmony out of my country. 
He's not my lo- You were deceived by him and nearly allowed him to destroy the syndicate. Now here I am, talking to you and wishing I was dead. Do you like killing? I'm not a murderer, I'm a soldier. Hmm. That's the same thing. To a dobe to coolie like you, maybe. Life's not everything you think they are, Nenorisito. What changes what a life is? You point a weapon at a person and you're no longer human. You lost your humanity. Goodbye, Nenorisito. Oh, no, still increased the relationship. Nenorisito. Is there something else, Akiko? No, it's nothing. Time to probe. <laughs> Time to probe by Kiko. I need your help, Akiko. No one has anything on Lydia and Sam. Surely the head of the military keeps an eye on people. Fine. No, no, Isito, I'm not one for gossiping. This is a time of crisis, so I'll tell you what we know. We? The God Justice Marshals. Keep up. My Marshals have told me they have seen Lydia and Sam meeting in secret at the farm. Well, I knew that already, because I found their phone there. Why the farm? That's your job, investigator. May your light shine bright, and may you reach the moon. I would, I would be, I would be highly critical of someone attempting to do an accent, especially if they're just making up an accent. Um, and yet, I find myself instinctively doing that when reading a character who's been given a whole bunch of words in a language I don't speak. Uh, oh well, it's too late now. I also found myself slipping into what's probably going to come across as a terrible fake, um, like. London estuary accent for the only uh, like avowed criminal in the entire game as well, which is also terrible. Um, even though that's simply the accent I had growing up, which has been discarded by rigorous parental lessons in how to not sound common, which was extremely upsetting considering I and literally all of my friends sounded like that. And yet somehow that was unacceptable. Anyway, that's uh, more information than I usually try and share in these uh, episodes, where I like to maintain the polite fiction that I am, in fact, an automaton who exists only to, uh, to play video games and tell you what to think about them. So I guess hidden lore unlocked there once again. Anyway, so um, I believe that that means we have exactly one person left that we haven't talked to, which is, of course, the witness. So we're going to have to go and talk to the witness pretty soon, and then we're going to have to round up everybody we've already talked to and talk to them again. We're also going to try and unlock all of these syndicate computers that we haven't unlocked yet. And in order to do that, I need to go back to the uh, reality folding drive and talk to that ghost, whose name I believe I have uncovered, which should get me the final key to allow me to unlock all the computers, which will start let me, which will let me start getting insane, like wild haymaker level evidence, hopefully. After all, they wouldn't bother to put that heavy of an encryption on it if it, there wasn't a bunch of extremely interesting and highly uh, sensitive information for me to find hidden in it. But it's been a few episodes of doing nothing but talking to NPCs, so I think the next couple episodes, or at least the next episode, singular, will be me wandering around, finishing looking at all of these lovely buildings, and uh, ferreting out all of their many secrets. Let's just grab this one because we're here, though. It's been a while since I got any new music. Lady Blue by Apoc. Remember how her lipstick looked on the TV? And his lipstick, divine. I loved those two. Late nights were bat better back then. So, I think that's probably going to be it from me for today as my voice slowly gives out. After all, I'm still extremely sick. So everyone should praise me, frankly. Uh, far more than I deserve, because I've been working so hard to bring you these things, despite the fact that my body is slowly rotting away. Um, let's go back to the whole uh, I'm a robot metaphor and call it bit rot. Why not? Probably could have phrased that gag significantly more punchily, but whatever, I don't care. I'm going to go back to bed. Anyway, that is actually all from me for today. Join me again for more of this, and I hope you had fun watching. Bye.
If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.